Hauser will be presenting a plaque to our coach, Mr. Hauser. This is Mr. Hauser's 200th victory. Congratulations. that I've been hearing lately, been reading about in the paper, about the coach of the year and the controversy that's going on? Well, that's, that's something that's really not a controversy at all. It's uh, uh, a, a reporter at the Bulletin uh, had his opinion and he, he made his opinion and, and then some people at my school uh, responded to it. And I've spoken to the coach at Martinsville and I've spoken to some of her girls and it's just really not a controversy at all. The uh, district coach of the year is voted on by the coaches um, and uh, this gentleman had his opinion and that was okay with us. So just an opinionated uh, situation. Explain us a little bit more about the opinion. What, what, what exactly? Uh, the Marsville Bulletin reporter just stated that he thought that she should win Coach of the Year. And it just, uh, some of my people took it a little personal and, and they wrote some letters back. Um, but uh, it, it's just all water under the bridge now. And, and I called uh, Coach Humlin at Martinsville and she and I worked together with Spring AAU for five years. And uh, we, uh, we, we both do the same job. Uh, we work hard, we're trying to uh, get our kids to play hard and teach them the right way to play and, and send them on to college to play if they want, and, and then, uh, but we do the majority of teaching. Do you think sometimes we in the press create these controversies by making comments such as that? Or? Um, well, the, the, the report in the Martinsville Bulletin was um, unusual for our community. Uh, I don't think our community is uh, used to seeing uh, one person or one coach exalted and the name of someone else put down. Uh, and, and it surprised my people. I, I don't think they would have been bothered if my name hadn't have been used uh, in comparison. It's just, an, uh, just a, a different kind of, of, of journalism um, that maybe in other communities is more normal, but that, that's all. Uh, and, and Robin understands, and I spoke to her, and, and I hope her, hope her kids do, because the Martinsville girls are, are good ball players and they're good kids, and I, I know a lot of them and their families. Well, absolutely. We've got some interesting video here um, we're going to show, and you can tell us a little bit about that as we're showing it. Um, well, good. Um, we've, we've played twice in the last couple of weeks, and, and I've got uh, 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 us here playing Magna Vista, and uh, this girl serving for Magna Vista is Nikki Benton, and Nikki Benton's a senior. And she's got a, a pretty tough uh, spinner that also moves to our right, and you think you have it, and it gets away from you. Uh, and that, uh, those are two serves that, that got them two points at the beginning of the second game, and that was last Tuesday night when we played them. Do you get real hyper at these games and um, uh, excited uh, when I mean, they get out there and they start playing, bouncing that ball around? I mean, that's a strenuous activity. Um, I, I actually, a lot of people uh, don't think it's so strenuous at all, uh, but, but it is. Uh, we, we lift weights, we, uh, we work out, we do the running. Um, we, we work hard during the off-season and um, in order to be able to compete against the Magna Vistas and, and FCs and uh, we've played the last couple of matches, um, we, we have to be in shape and, and give things our best effort. Yes, Charles. Of course, uh, the, the teams are pretty competitive this year. How, where are the standings right now, Tom? I mean, uh, as, as far as I know, both uh, us and Martinsville are undefeated in the district play. Um, I believe uh, Martinsville played Magna Vista last night and I don't know the results of that. Um, Patrick County and Magna Vista are right behind us. Um, it's, it's a very competitive situation. And Field of Collinsville has some excellent ball players. And you may have read in the bulletin today that uh, Laurel Park last night lost 20 to 18 in the last game against Patrick County. Mm. And so it is some, some real competitive uh, volleyball right now. And, and some of the clips that uh, if, uh, if, if he's able to run them off, you're going to see some, some real big hits. Um, in fact, uh, the FC girls are expecting to see themselves. So if we have time, we'll show it. Because uh, I, I phoned uh, Lisa Clark, who's a sophomore at FC, uh, and uh, told her that maybe she could see it. And that's, that's Mandy Willis, one of my ball players, and that's a Magna Vista girl right there. I, I don't know all their names. Well, well Tom, obviously, when, when is the big game between you and Martinsville? Well, um, 
the, the big game, it, it's kind of more like a fun game. It's, it's oh, come be, on, it's a big game. Well, you could say that. Um, we, we enjoy playing in these kind of games. Uh, that, that's Mandy Willis hitting that ball. Um, but uh, we are scheduled uh, to play them uh, this coming Saturday night at Martinsville Junior High School. And then uh, uh, if we don't have too much bad weather, we're scheduled to play them again on Wednesday night at Bassett High School. Well, what are you going to do to make sure you win? We're just going to play hard. Uh, we're just going to play hard, and that's what, what I hope we do every night. Uh, we're just going to give it a lot of effort, and we'll see what happens. Uh, that's the uh, now uh, the end of the first game last night against Phil Collinsville. Um, again, this is last night's action. Charles told me to come today at 5, so I put together a little tape. Now, that's Jennifer Witt, a senior at FC, uh, who's an outstanding ball player. And I've been, uh, I've been trying to, I've been crossing my fingers for three years, hoping she didn't hurt any of my people. And this is Larissa Manns. Uh, Larissa Manns got in the game last night. She's a junior on my team and was able to uh, put a ball down. Are there a lot of injuries in volleyball? Uh, most of our injuries, uh, Bob, are ankle injuries. Yeah. Uh, there's a block by uh, my middle blocker, Tasha Dillard, who's a senior. Uh, uh, out, of my, out of my six starters, Five of them are, are in Joe Johnson's calculus class, and uh, we're we're real proud mean? of our academics <laughs> on our team. Wow! Um, uh, and in fact, we have six girls on our team. They're in the top 20 of their class. Well, let me ask you this: now, what what competitor on the marginal team are you most worried about? I mean, obviously, I, I know you, everybody studies and swaps tapes and everything. T tell me, what, what, what do you have to do to beat Martinsville? Let me ask you that. Well, the, the people that we're concerned about are the three seniors on Martinsville's team, and, and that's Hillary and Renata and uh, Oh, Tiffany. And uh, uh, Hillary's been on their varsity team for four years, and Renata may have been also. But then Tiffany's a super athlete, and, and uh, we're, just, we're just hoping we can uh, keep up with them athletically. Uh, and uh, we're, we're just looking forward to it. Uh, I, think, I think this coming Saturday night is, is the fourth different date that they've tried to put this match on. Uh, so we'll see if we can play it this coming Saturday. All right, man. Well, you going to come back Monday and tell us about it? Uh, I may wait a couple more weeks and see how this whole thing shakes out. Okay. Well, we want to we keep, let you, make sure you let us know what's going on because this this is interesting and especially when you got Bassett versus Martinsville, everybody wants to know how it's going to happen and what's going to happen and and uh, you keep us updated on that. Okay. Well, we we think the uh, Bassett Martinsville matchup is uh, is interesting. You bet it is. <laughs> and uh, we're we're looking forward to it. I'd like to say a few more things if I got a minute. Sure. Go ahead. Okay. Um, in the paper today, there was an um, announcement about a Junior Olympic meeting in Martinsville. And that's just spring. It's kind of like an AAU thing. And, and Coach Humlin at Martinsville is, is starting her own program. Um, uh, and, uh, we're, but we're having our program. This will be our seventh year of it. And we'll have that and make sure we have that in the paper tomorrow. And also one other thing that I think all the volleyball players in our community need to know, and a lot of athletes, period, is that I had a, a girl from another school call me and say, Coach Houser, do you think I'm good enough to play college ball? Definitely. Uh, definitely. There, there, are, there are colleges that, that, that end up sending kids to pros. And then there are colleges that, in, that, that take all sorts of different people. Um, Avery College in Danville and Roanoke and Ferrum, they're, they're all at different levels, and they can use the volleyball players in this community definitely. So it really doesn't matter about the record of your team or, or really your skill level. There's a place for you to play. And I think that's true probably for soccer players and tennis players and, and in everything. And when you speak of that, you're talking primarily about uh, scholarships? Well, the Division three schools aren't allowed to give any athletic scholarships at all. Um, then that's why they classify, uh, classify themselves as Division III. Mm -hmm. They, they want to compete against other people that don't give out thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to attract kids. Um, but still those coaches go around, the Averitt coaches go around, the Ferrum coaches go around, they're always trying to talk kids into coming. Uh, Suzanne Stoneman, an FC graduate, is playing with the Ferrum College uh, volleyball team right now. Oh. And they have Patrick County girls at Ferrum and Bassett girls at Averitt and Tunstall girls at Averitt. Uh, and uh, so there is a place to play. And that's another thing I just wanted to point out tonight was that uh, if, if you're an athlete in this community and, okay, maybe you can't get into Duke or Carolina or maybe you're not going to start at Virginia Tech. Um, there are, there's a location, there's a place uh, for you to play. Well, you'll have to come back and bring some of the girls on and we'll just have to talk to them. Well, I invited him, but you know, when I invite someone at five o'clock to be here at six, that's a little short notice. So I, I didn't get a whole lot of uh, response tonight. Next time we'll give you two hours notice. Two hours. We'll try two hours. Okay. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Bob, for having me tonight. I appreciate Good being it. here. We've got more to come here. <laughs>